So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean off your gauge cluster on your TJ. Uh, mine's got a little bit of a little bit of dust on it, and uh, I think it had gotten wet um, earlier. So it's got a little bit of a you know like a film on it. So we're, I'm just going to show you guys today how to clean it without or with minimizing the scratches to it. Um, yeah. So basically, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick up some invisible glass cleaner um, and then a microfiber towel and the first thing you could do if your dash if your gauge cluster is really bad i would do some compressed air to get the big chunks away and then once you're done with that all you're going to do we're going to kind of roll this up here all we're going to do is spray a little bit on the towel then we're just going to take it up here and you're just going to want to dab it you're not going to want to uh, really wipe it in any way you're just going to dab it because you're going to want to minimize the scratches obviously so we're just going to dab it to get all the junk off Okay, and then we can flip it over to a clean side. And just dab the excess stuff off. Okay. So that is how I clean off the gauge cluster in the TJ. Um, so far, it's minimized all the scratches. Um, that could come with you, know, you if you were to use like a paper towel and wipe it, you know, all that kind of stuff. And don't use too much of the stuff of the invisible glass, but just enough just to make it look nice and clean. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that short tip video on how to keep the gauge cluster from getting super scratched. And then if you do, if you do have a really scratched one, I would still recommend doing this and then obviously doing some type of plastic restoration. I did that on the Comanche. And I used, uh, I think it's Meguiar's Plast X or something like that. And um, that actually did a pretty decent job at restoring the scratched uh, gauge cluster. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video.